Hello guys, welcome back to my Cricut Design Space tutorial. This is lesson number nine, upload. So first we're gonna start a new project. Then we're gonna click the bottom center icon that says upload. And we're gonna select from the photo library. Okay, once that is loaded, you're gonna click an image and it's gonna bring you to this screen. Now you only have three options, remove, erase, or crop. We don't need to crop and we don't need to erase, so we're gonna choose to remove any color that we want. Now you can, you, you can remove the black, and on the top left is gonna show you what the final image is gonna be. So you go back, and if you don't wanna remove the black, you can remove the white, so just go to undo and it puts it back. Okay, so we're going to remove the white so click on the white space and you see that the image turned to a triangle. You go back, you can zoom in and click the other white space. And now when you click the image, this is what your final image is gonna look like. So zoom out and click next. Then we're gonna click cut and we're gonna name the image. and click save. Okay, so next it's gonna send you to this screen right here and you're gonna click your image and click insert and that would load it into your project. So it's a cut image so that when you go to make it, when you go to make this image, it's gonna be cut. Okay, so let's try to upload a photo. You go to upload and you select from photo library again This time we're going to choose a photo, which is this one, and we're going to crop. Okay, once you have cropped it, you can actually move it um, any way you'd like. But in this case, we're just going to leave it like that and press done. And even though it's uh, this is what your cut image is going to look like, we're gonna hit next and this time we're gonna put print then cut now print and print then cut is not available feature on an Android phone but if you're using an Apple phone or an Apple product it will work with that So we're going to click print then cut and name the prod name the image and save it. and then it will be loaded onto the screen. You click the image and you press insert. And there's your image. And you can move it as much as you'd like. Um, and you can even put things on top of it.
All right. So you're not going to be able to print and cut this um, because it's not available on Android, but you can do it on an Apple. But one thing you can do is you can take off the grid and take a screenshot. And sometimes that'll help you out when you're creating covers or you're creating thumbnails. Um, it's very useful for certain applications. So let's try to do another image. Go to upload, select from photo library. And we're going to click this image right here. Now you see it's a rectangle. So we're going to go to erase. And when you move it, when you move to this bar right here, you could select the size of the eraser. And everywhere that you touch with the eraser will erase. So it's helpful to clear the borders with the erase tool then you can go with the remove tool and click out the other stuff but if you notice it leaves a little line around the border of it so you can go back and erase it All right, so you can go and remove more of this white. And let's say you click the wrong thing. You could always go undo and it'll get right back at it. So this one also we're gonna leave as a print then cut. So you click it, name it, And once it's uploaded, you can click it and insert it. Now, you've, noti you've noticed that on this one, um, it's a little long because we didn't erase everything completely. Now, there's something you can do about that. You could either uh, delete the image, which we're going to do. Let's do that. We're going to go to Uploads, and we're going to open Uploaded Images. Okay, once that's loaded, you're going to click the I, and you're going to delete the image. So delete it. Then you can go back. And you can try it again. Upload, select from photo library, okay this time we're gonna click the image and instead of erasing it we're just gonna crop it. Okay then we'll remove the white around it and then we'll remove the white in it. Next, click it, name it, and click save. And then it uploads, and then you click it and insert it. And now, is a clean image so whenever you're making a shirt or a logo
you can you can get an image and screenshot it so now you have a cover and you could also add text And there you go. So that's basically the whole upload tool. It's very useful. You can upload photos. Um, it depends on your device. Um, this is a newer phone and it still lags a little bit. If you have a very powerful computer, then it might load it. But if you don't have such a powerful phone or a computer, it might take forever to load. So use it with caution. Um, but yeah, that's basically what you can do with uploaded images. Thank you for watching this. Um, I'm going to try to create more content during the week. So keep an eye out, eye out for that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Because I intend this to be about a 30 lesson course. Just for the basics. And then after this course, I'm going to get into design and into hacks so that you can learn more on how to use this Cricut Design Space. So bye for now.